in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen heavenly father we thank you and we praise you for this beautiful day lord we thank you for every participant gathered here and even those who will be listening to this teaching on youtube your spirit is ministering to each one of us the way you teach us nobody can teach us the way you guide us nobody can guide us holy spirit take complete authority of this entire zoom session take complete authority of my mind and my vocal cords so that let every word that is spoken over here be only what you want to teach us and not what i want to teach and i bind every spirit of distraction disturbance and unbelief that has come to steal kill and destroy in the name of jesus get out of this place right now can you all hear me yes 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 okay. and thank you holy spirit for you are going to confirm every word spoken over here with accompanying signs wonders and testimonies we make this prayer in jesus name amen amen praise god thank you jesus so let's learn about you know an interesting topic today praise god okay can you all read this can one of you please read no i cannot hear you for Sorry, though sister? we walk in the flesh we do not war after the flesh for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through god to the pulling down of strongholds praise god thank you so what is the scripture saying for though we walk in the flesh that is the world yes though we are you know we God. are spirit beings but we have a soul and we live in a body that is what it means so though we walk in the flesh we do not war after the flesh so um to make you understand this okay have you seen uh, you know like any movies of war yes just or they you have know, guns and ammunition you have they have these weapons and those weapons are meant to attack the physical body correct right yes but yes. for the <laughs> for though we walk in the flesh we do not war after the flesh for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through the through god to the pulling down of strongholds many a times okay we don't realize this that <coughs> we all are in a warfare we all are in a spiritual battle and that battle is every minute of our life that battle is you know constantly there even while this zoom session is taking place there are so many things you know the enemy is doing to come and steal steal our attention from the word okay and many a times there are attacks through our loved ones through the words they speak through the you know things that we can see but paul is saying even though we are in the flesh we are not fighting against flesh for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal that means they are not physical but mighty through god to the pulling down of strongholds they are mighty through god 
to the pulling down of strongholds. So what is the meaning of this word stronghold? It's like a belief that we hold on to. Yes, okay. Strongholds, like I will give you a, the definition of what it literally means. Praise God. So in the olden days, when there used to be a battle, okay, they used to build a fortress and that fortress would be so in, built in such a way that whoever is inside cannot come out and whoever is outside cannot go inside. So that is what it literally means, a stronghold. Praise. Did you all follow or should I um, you know, explain that? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So that is the physical definition. Okay. That's the literal meaning of the word stronghold. Now, just like there is a stronghold which is physical, there is also a stronghold which is spiritual. And that stronghold, you know, it prevents the thoughts from entering. Uh, what I mean to say is, you know, for example, depression is a stronghold. Like a person who is depressed, it starts with one negative thought. And that person goes on meditating on it again and again, again and again, again and again. Okay. So I'll give you my testimony of what exactly happened. So when I was in depression, it started with one negative thought. And how it happened, I'll tell you. So as a doctor, I had an interest in mental health, okay? So I was doing my, uh, you know, my postings. We were posted in different departments as a part of our learning. So I had one month posting in psychiatry, okay? And I used to speak to a lot of people with mental health issues, okay? So what exactly happened? When I started uh, talking to them, I was very fascinated. And I was, uh, you know, even watching movies to gain more knowledge about mental health. I used to, you know, be very interested in the information. But unknowingly, I did not know at that point that I am planting seeds in my mind, okay? Through the information that I'm receiving about that particular field, it's like the knowledge was creating a, a barrier. It was, it was, you know, creating like a wall in my mind. And few months later, my grandfather fell sick. He was diagnosed with liver cancer. Okay. So because of that, you know, all that negative situation started speaking to me. And... Like, you know, I had maybe a few symptoms here and there, like, you know, my heart beating very fast. But see how the devil uses those situations to make you believe the lie. Based on the physical symptoms that I was having, you know, he started putting thoughts in my mind, saying that, see, see, you know, exactly what you studied, what you studied in the uh, you know, you had read in your uh, research about psychiatry. That is exactly what is happening to you. See, see, you're feeling breathless. See, see, you're feeling this. See, see, you're feeling that. And all those things started playing in my mind. Day and night, I did not know I'm meditating on all the wrong things. For me, at that point, I had no word. Okay. So for me, what I'm receiving, you know, that was exactly giving me knowledge. But that knowledge was not giving me faith. That knowledge was giving me fear. And my condition started getting worse. It started with, you know, from there. And then after a few months, I lost my grandfather. And the next whole year, you know, my performance at my studies was affected very badly. I had no interest to study. I wanted to sleep 
10 to 12 hours a day because I did not know that I'm building a stronghold on that knowledge that I received. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'll give you a better example to understand. So if you have seen these construction sites, okay, if any of you all have seen, everything comes brick by brick, correct? Hello, anybody with me? Yes, yes, yeah. Yes, yes. 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 Praise God, yes, okay. Yes. So when you're building a house, every layer is brick by brick. So in the same way, just like every house is built brick by brick and it doesn't happen in one day's time, in the same way, okay, when you receive thoughts, okay, that thought starts with one thought. And when that one thought comes, if I'm not opening my mouth and speaking to that thought and attacking it, you know what happens? More thoughts come. And when more thoughts come, just like brick by brick, a house is being formed, in the same way, thought by thought, there is a prison forming in my mind. And my mind is so captivated with that prison that it cannot process anything other than that. And that is exactly what happened. One thought, two thoughts, three thoughts, over and over again, repeatedly, again and again. And over a period of time, I began to believe that I have a problem, you know, in my mental health. I have depression. And this is what the, even the knowledge from the world that we receive, right? A lot of uh, awareness programs and all of that, that really catches our attention. My mind was so captivated with what I was experiencing, what I had studied. And, you know, I kept on, kept on repeating, 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 rehearsing in my mind, meditating on the wrong things that over a period of time, a stronghold was built. And I was a prisoner in a mental prison. And it was so bad that even though I try, I would try so many things, okay, I was not able to come out of it. I had no desire to, you know, study. I had no desire to, uh, you know, do anything what I liked also, my hobbies in that one year. And if and that would really get me frustrated that why am I not having any energy, any desire to do, you know, these things. And I would try to, you know, put pressure on myself, but that only backfired. I was trying in my own ability, in my own strength, my willpower to, you know, come out of this, try to think positive, everything I tried of this world. But it was not at all helping me. It was only the word of God that, you know, my aunt had shared to me. And that, listening to that, my life started changing. And that's what this verse says. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Now, if you take a small, uh, uh, this thing, what is that? A small tool and go and hit the, the house, will it break? No. If you take a knife or some small uh, weapon and just go and start hitting the wall of the house, will it break? No. 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 Not at all. That is how no. our willpower is you know, trying to break a big thing. You definitely need a bulldozer to go and demolish the house, right? If you have seen a, you know, a construction place, if they're demolishing a place, you need a bulldozer or, and that also yes. not in one, not in one setting. That's a big one. That is, a big yeah. one and it takes two, three times two, three times. for that yeah. bulldozer to go and break those break the house, mm -hmm. the bricks and everything so that you know you can build a new 
house okay. it's the same thing with the word of god you need the word of god is mighty just like a bulldozer to the pulling down of strongholds so when you are spending more and more time in the word what is happening that word is breaking all the lies of the devil so there were so many lies which i had believed of the devil that you know i had to the word of god was making me understand the holy spirit was helping me to understand when the word was being preached and as i started spending more and more time in the word that word which was inside me started breaking that prison and obviously it didn't happen in one day's time over a period of time of hearing 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 that's when you know my life changed because romans 10:17 says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god praise god thank you jesus praise god thank you jesus so this topic of strongholds is very very like very interesting topic if you understand this you know like most of the areas in your life you'll be able to achieve victory because i just give you one example of depression how that was a stronghold in my life but i'm pretty sure each of you all there would be different areas in your life where there are strongholds which you have to cast it down with the word of god and build new strongholds according to the word of god so with this i'd like to stop today i just give a introduction on the topic strongholds and i wanted to go very slow with this because i want you all to understand the you know what exactly a stronghold is and we'll be continuing on this again so would anyone like to add something yes sister i like to add because actually this is so so like um, relating to me so much that <clears throat> from the age of 19 i i was like that i was um, always imagining <clears throat> then they said get her married i got married and now i'm and i still used to ambulance used to come and take me and they used to say that nothing is wrong with her nothing is wrong so my mother said get her married and everything i i had but i still got into depression and i would say that i got all this i got that i got and i would sit and cry and everybody would cry and go to all the doctors and today i am 73 and there's no symptoms of what i used to say before and once i came into the world again i got very very strong i got good i i, I started being no fearing and i love that fear not for i am with you that was the one that changed me that was the scripture that i always hang on to and uh, brother johnson and all that i i used to start with that and uh, you know sister it made such a difference but to like i want to say that the one i actually don't want to say it but i have to because now and then i slip back and then again i think no now this time i don't think i can make it and i get uh, fear and i don't know I, i like i'm not as strong as like how you have been come out of it so when i see you i think so young and so nice she came out of it and she's you know broken all those strongholds and she's i'm actually a living testimony to many people i want to do that i want to say that see that i came to 73 so it's a proof that you know the lord the, the satan really comes and plays up with you messes up your life and then how with the word you can come back and become strong i am a testimony to that but why do i give in at times again after becoming now i think oh i've gone old so you know it's definitely now those symptoms are real okay so for just because you came out of the uh, you know the problem it doesn't mean that the devil is going to stop he is going to come and he is going to attack you more only especially for people who are in the world because we are a threat to the devil's kingdom 
So the only yeah. way. So when I preach, everyone is like telling me, "You preach to yourself first." <laughs> so I say, "Yeah, yeah, I am. I'm doing that." So, sister, what you can do is the mm. you know the teaching. Take one teaching. Say, for example, stronghold. You found this topic very relevant. Yeah, it just spoke to me when I was feeling like that, giddy, and I'm feeling so. Yeah. So, so that topic has many. Uh, there are many teachings on Jyoti Alam by Sister Jocelyn, and you know, yeah, take yeah. one teaching and take only one teaching and keep writing it, keep hearing it again and again. so that it yeah. enters your heart and once the word enters your heart and whatever you know the lies that the enemy has told you whatever you know uh, mm. yes yeah. he is feeding you it will yeah. go you don't have to fight the lies you only have to get into the word the word yes. which is in you will attack the enemy yes true sister yes, thank you sister that's how i'm living actually thank true. you thank you Thank you. Is it from Marcella? You want to say something? Uh, it's just that I want to say, you know, I remind myself, like you emphasize, <clears throat> word of God, word of God is very true. I I remind myself, word of God is a, it's a, it's a weapon. It's an active. It's alive. It's operative. It's energetic. It's powerful. It's like a double-edged sword. So, uh, like you said, you have to attack the thought that comes. The thought does come. Especially the thought comes when I get I get very weird dream, like you know, like uh, some neighbor doing something and all that, and I it's a dream. So when I get up, I, I said it's just a dream. Why should I be worried about it? But the thought comes, huh? That about the dream. So I just take the word of God. I'll sing, or I will say, "Thank and praise you, Lord, for your goodness and mercy and your so on." I keep saying something because I know that the word of God attacks that thoughts, attacks it, and it disappears. And then next moment, I'm praying in tongues. It is mm -hmm. like you know. At that moment, I want to nip it at the bud and let be free of it, and so I, I will not allow the thought to come as a stronghold, like you rightly said. Not allow one brick over the other. And I know how you said it that construction is a very beautiful example, because I have gone through construction and I did it. I done my, I see my my houses very well, and but I just want to remind us ourselves, I remind me and remind us all. Word of God is word that is sharper than double as sword. It is active. It's alive. It's operative. It is energetic. Take the word of God and you feel energy. I take the word of God and I feel so much energetic. Nothing can you know stop me. I I may be feeling a little lazy. I my thing is I get tired at that time because of the, I don't know for what reason. But I take the word of God. I just go. I take a book, especially the white book, helps me. I will say that I got a another book of one thousand praises. I'll take that book, start praising God, and then I'll say, "Oh, and while I'm doing it, it comes to my mind. Oh, I have to cook this. I have to remove this from the fridge. I have to cook. I have to do." The next moment, I go and do all my work. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Sister Priya, for this wonderful teaching. Reminds us on and on. It's ongoing for our, even though we are in the Word, but this little nuggets that you give us every morning is so beautiful. Thank you, Jesus. and not more over i want to say this time that we spend is not uh, it is like you know god is is a time fix for us god has called us on this platform for us be with him for a few moments like maybe an hour and then so nice go about our work because we have heard him speaking to us through you we heard holy spirit spirit speaking to us through you praise god thank you jesus praise god thank you jesus so whenever you know sometimes you will get bizarre dreams like something which doesn't make sense and it really speaks to you in the morning just do one thing just say open your mouth and say i reject this in the name of jesus it is just satan trying to you know deceive you with a lie <laughs> very true what you say very true i don't take it i yeah. just to get out <laughs> So yes, yeah, because the words to the devil. Get out! Get out! The devil out. has no power. He's no weaker power. than the ant. So he wants to trouble me through the little funny dreams. Praise God! <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Repeat. Yes. Um. So I was saying that if you have bad dreams or anything, you know, just don't have to get 
any fear that what why am i getting this don't get into that instead just open your mouth and say i reject this dream in the name of jesus it shall come to pass i i never had fear praise god thank you because the love of god is in us and christ dwelling in us is greater than anything else in the world praise god praise god thank you jesus so brother steven you would like to add something thank you sister marcela that was good praise god to study and uh, i just wanted to say you know one thing is to pull down the negative stronghold and the second thing is to build a stronghold on the word of god you know i think there are like uh, it will be good to have these two parts in our life one thing is to like pull down all the negative strongholds and the second thing would be you know build a stronghold on uh, focused on the word so you know uh, one such scripture that i remember is i think in isaiah it is isaiah 25 verse 4 uh which says in ampc for you have been a stronghold for the poor a stronghold for the needy in his distress a shelter from the storm a shade from the heat you know this is having yeah you have put it here so for thou has it been a strength to the poor Mm-hmm. a strength to the needy in the distress a refuge from the storm so you know um, this particular scripture in npc they use the word stronghold so the same word yeah you can just put it there yeah yes yeah. so yeah so you have been a stronghold for the helpless a stronghold for the poor in his distress a shelter from the storm a shade from the heat you know so this is clearly saying us that our, our we have to have a stronghold based on the word of god and not on you know the things of the world you know uh, the same thing you know even uh, i think few days back you had shared on romans 12 to which also says like do not be conformed to this world but be ye transformed by renewing your mind so the same thing that you explained you know renewing the mind and making a strong hold on the word of god praise god that's what i wanted to share praise god thank you brother for this beautiful scripture so much to learn <laughs> sister i just want to ask you a question mm-hmm. one small question how to go about it you know like when i sing songs about jesus and all that then many people yeah. are drawn to the words and then they contact me and say we want to be your friend and so when when they are non christian and when they are not uh, christians they are hindus hmm. then how do i go about it like trying to they, they want to talk about how are you <coughs> where do you stay all sorts of things you know like i want to come back to the word and introduce it to them but i don't want to do it how do i do it i mean how do you I make friends okay okay i'll i'll answer this question thank you holy spirit in the beginning okay when i was new in the world okay i used to think that i have to go and convince people i have to go and share the word i'm not saying that i don't have to share the word but there are two ways i can do it one is depending on my own strength and it will not work the other one is depending on the holy spirit so what i do is i don't go after people to you know share the word what i personally do is i wait on the holy spirit if the holy spirit tells me to go and speak to people i just obey his instructions and what you can do is like you know i use my whatsapp you know to share the word of god and many of my friends recently i have been getting a lot of uh, feedback that my friends and who are non believers they are getting inspired by those one minute messages that i post every day so that is the way i'm using the you know technology as a tool to share the word because 
you the person who listens to you has to be, have a prepared heart his heart has to be ready to receive the gospel you can't go and just no but if he if he's just hindu and he told me he is hindu so like i don't know where to start now i want i don't want him to go away because if like i start preaching to him he may think so i still like you know i can't be rude and say don't contact me also yeah so why no problem so what you can do is you can ask the holy spirit that yes. is what is my advice ask the holy yes, spirit. i do that sister right and you can maybe share some simple small scriptures you don't have to uh, today i told him i'm going for a bible study that's why i asked you if you are hindu or christian don't mind because if you are where christian i would have invited you so i just gave one little introduction okay. and then i then i said holy spirit now you take over praise god because so it's coming back sister we don't need to know like you know uh, what the person is from which background and all because i had heard okay, okay. from sister joslin because what he said is my job is to just speak the word it is the holy spirit who's going to convict that person to hear the word my job is only to preach it is not to worry about whether that person is going to accept it or not that's not for me Okay, that is okay. the holy spirit who is going to help me oh so I, mean, i shouldn't ask that question yeah because if you ask that then your mind will start thinking oh he is a non believer how will it okay, work okay. isn't that okay. producing unbelief sister hmm. i i i felt like that you know i felt that i shouldn't do that anyways you you said right i'll just go on doing what talk in my way like you know yes how the holy spirit directs me to be friends yes as the holy spirit leads you because he is the best person who can help you in this praise Sorry. god thank you jesus <laughs> praise god okay anybody else would like to add anything praise god if not then we can continue tomorrow this topic is very interesting so we'll have a long series on this so that you know a lot of people get benefited praise god yes Brother, sister this uh, topic on strongholds is uh, very 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 pulls many people down and and really is a fortress you have to break it praise god thank you thank jesus you, thank you you came with it like the thank holy you. spirit <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Brother Stephen, would you like to make the Thanksgiving prayer? Okay, sister. Heavenly Father, I thank you. I praise you. I thank you, Lord. Today we learned about strongholds. Thank you, Lord. You spoke to us through Sister Priya and gave us the understanding of strongholds. Thank you, Lord, for all the participants who are listening right now. in zoom and who all the people who will be listening to this teaching in youtube thank you lord that each and every one is able to understand the concept of strongholds to build a stronghold on the word of god and to remove the stronghold of the world thank you lord for this teaching thank you for sister priya and all the participants who are there in this zoom all because we pray in jesus mighty name amen Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, brother. Beautiful. Thank you all. Thank you, Sister Priya. Thank you. Thank you for your lovely. Bye. Bye. Bye, all.